Hey, just to catch up on speed, if you didn't watch my last video, it was about me going over the Ten Commandments being enforced in schools in Louisiana. And a byproduct of me going through it was me finding the word Christian nationalist. Just about everywhere where disagreement could be found. If you want to know my opinion on the whole Ten Commandments thing, I recommend watching that video first. But without further ado, what is a Christian nationalist? And I'll be honest, I have no idea as to what that word even means. So, uh, Gerald, can you define nationalist for me? I guess so. It comes up as a person who strongly identifies with their own nation and vigorously supports its interests, especially to the exclusion or detriment of the interests of other nations. Ah, and then to just spin the word Christian, it would be something about a Christian who just stands with Christianity. And that is it. Nothing else will do except for Christianity. Right. It's like the, quote, Catholic person I reacted to in the last video. They believe in the same God as Christian, yet called his brethren as crap. Now, uh, just some knowledge for you to understand where I come from, I'm a Christian, or at least I believe so, and so my initial emotion with hearing this term being thrown around was somewhere between anger, confusion, and annoyance, but after looking it up, I can see why people would be throwing that word around. Now, while I can understand it, that doesn't mean that I agree with it. But I will get to why I disagree with it later, so stay tuned to hear my interesting take on it. Why not tell us now? Because it's meant to keep you, the viewer, interested in seeing the end, where I point out why it is debatably wrong. Okay. Now. Where was I? Oh, right. I was talking about what it is. And so, a lot of the debate is coming from talking about how Trump is endorsing this recent bill. And a lot of the left is pointing out the hypocrisy in Trump endorsing it. I mean, he's broken just about every commandment. Uh, here, let me read this post. I love the Ten Commandments in public school, private school, and many other places for that matter. Read it. How can we as a nation go wrong? This may be, in fact, the first major step in the revival of religion, which is desperately needed in our country. Bring back the Ten Commandments, MAGA 2024. So, people are pointing out that Trump has gone against just about all of the commandments, but I think the problem that the naysayers are having is that while they are right, they're also much like Sisyphus and the Boulder. And no, I'm not talking about how Trump supporters are at this rate in the election cycle, Trump supporters whatsoever the op opposition says. Why I'm saying that is because within the Bible, there is a such thing as repenting. But why wouldn't he make something like that public so that people can only incorrectly criticize him of his past? Well, that would be something that I would answer with something that I really cannot confirm in any way. Repentance is done in secret from people. Revelation is something done in public. Trump is obviously not going to be doing a public revelation as a campaign for his political party, so I would suspect that maybe he's done repenting only under the Lord's vision when praying without prying eyes around. Now, the problem with that suspicion is that I could be completely wrong. But here is where I share the verse Matthew 6, 1-4. Be careful not to practice righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. 2. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward in full. 3. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father, who sees what you've done in secret, will reward you. And that is all to say that things done in secret are rewarded, whereas things done in public are not. Things done in public are always rewarded by speaking it to everyone. Uh, why do I point this out? Well, now I point you to the other verse from Matthew 7, 15-20. Watch out for false prophets. They will come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. 
By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. And so, this is to say that while him being all out and about with him being in agreement with the Ten Commandments being in school is going against the whole rewarded in secret, I would also say that repentance is done in secret and is something that would be rewarded in secret. And to me, him still being around after so many years of not being president is to me an obvious sign of a good tree. A tree that produces bad fruit is cut down, but one that produces good fruit is a tree that doesn't get cut down. And surprisingly, after jail, court battle after court battle, he is still here. And I'm predicting to be the next president as well. If I'm right or wrong, that is to be uh, dependent on time. But, you know, continuing on. Now, to bring this back, while he has broken a lot of those commandments, or all, I don't really know, he could have repented for those. And since that, he is still around and not cut down as much as the news would like to claim he is. And so, now, to bring this full circle, the people are claiming that this happening, with the whole Ten Commandments being put into schools, is something of a Christian nationalist thing. And they are pointing out that a massive personality like Trump being in agreement with it is hypocrisy. And I'm in disagreement with the whole thing, because as I pointed out in the last video, this is essentially tit for tat. I wouldn't call this Christian nationalism, because this to me is an issue of beliefs. In school, right now, there are a lot of more left-leaning political beliefs, like the pride flag, for example, being in school. And as I pointed out, this to me is just equalization. You want your belief to be in school, then there should be equalization with more right-wing beliefs as well. That way, the kids are not getting a bias growing up. That way, they are surrounded with an equal amount of beliefs. They have more left-wing beliefs in the classroom along with right-wing beliefs. It is just equalization to me. This has very little to do with nationalism to me. Like, sure, it is going to be included because the nationalists are going to be in agreement, but just like that, there are also going to be nationalists in the disagreement with it. Or in other words, equal. The Christian nationalists disagree with typical left-wing stuff, and the opposition of them disagree with typical right-wing stuff. It is equal. And then the other thing I'm kind of in disagreement with is the whole entire argument against Trump being an active case for going against the Ten Commandments. Because while it is possible that he didn't repent for those things, I just have to point out that he does not have to apologize to the masses because then he has already gotten his reward he deserved. Who he should apologize to is God. And then he will be rewarded in secret. And surprise, surprise, he is still a thorn in legacy media's brain because they're always talking about him, trying to knock him down a peg, and yet he is still here and growing at that. But... What does my opinion matter? I'm just someone who lives by the rules of truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, self-control, and consistency with my words and actions. And I would recommend that if you want to continue listening to the better side of life, then you should hit that subscribe button and perhaps give your opinion down below. Do you agree with me or disagree? But enough of that. Have a good one.